Our ability to walk is enabled by the human spinal cord. It's also a locus for neurodegenerative diseases and traumatic injury. We don't understand all of the different cell types that exist within the brain and the spinal cord, and we also don't understand their function. And so as part of a large scale effort supported by the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, we are building a cell atlas of the human spinal cord. We're isolating individual cells from each segment of the human spinal cord. We are looking at how genes are actively transcribed and how those patterns of gene activation can give you a sense of cellular identity. We can also ask inside of human tissue, where are all of these cell types? And this is actually at the leading edge of what's possible. And that's important because we know that when we, during neurodegenerative diseases like ALS, we know that some of those motor neurons are selectively vulnerable to death. One of the things that I love the most about this project is that it really enables the construction of community locally within our lab, but also within the Institute here at Columbia, and then even broader than that towards uh, interfacing with an international community with uh, theoreticians, uh, you know, mathematicians, computational biologists. And of course, all of this works under the umbrella of being able to teach others and to create an open resource. And so it's really been a blessing uh, to receive this kind of support because it's enabled us to do things that um, were inconceivable before.